Hello everyone, it's Jamie Sieber 23 so this is not about tarot. This is not a rant, it's just like an awareness and um, basically me talking to a few of the trolls. So I've got trolls coming over here, from an, coming over to my channel from another channel. Okay, so in about 2016, you guys know I went traveling for a while, okay? Um, I got married in 2017 and then I got divorced in 2019. But anyway, so I was considering doing the RV life because I was like, you know what? I really love to travel. You know, my youngest is uh, was not school age yet. He's not school age yet right now, but he will be soon. But, um, but at the time, back in like 2016, 2017, I was considering this. So I did all my research because I like to research a lot before I do anything. So, you know... Um, can I operate this thing? What kind of a driver's license would I need to do this? Do I need a, you know, do I need like a, what, whatever class of driver's license do I need to be able to operate this? How much is insurance on it? How much is a typical repair? You know, is it better to get a class A? Is it better to get a class C? Like, like what are my options, right? Because I'm researching because I want to make sure that I'm making the right choices and it's a very expensive purchase. To, um, to purchase an RV, as most of you know. So my husband, of course, was not on board, so I decided not to do it. So in me researching, I came across somebody. I came across, I'm not gonna say the person's name or their channel, but I came across a woman. Um, the woman was basically talking about she was in debt, and that's the reason why she's living in her car. At the time, she was living in like a very small SUV. So, you know, she's saying, you know, she's putting like a wish list um, for, um, for Amazon on her thing. So there's like a Dometic refrigerator. If you guys don't know what that is, Google it. It's something that you can, you can op it's like a small refrigerator that you can freeze things and keep, you know, keep your, um, your perishables uh, good for a while. So it's, it's a refrigerator. It's basically a refrigerator, but small. And you can operate it out of your cigarette lighter or through a... Um, or through um, a uh, battery thing. It's, it's an inverter. In, I think it's. I think the the right term is an inverter. So anyway, so there's a lot of things that you can do. You can make a toilet. You can do all sorts of stuff that you you know. I learned a lot. So if you guys hear filing in the background, I'm doing my nails. Okay. So anyway, so this woman had a wish list on there. Dometic refrigerator was one of them. Like socks, you know, sleeping bags, blankets, because she was operating out of New Jersey. So it's cold there, right? Um, okay, so I'm sending her stuff, you know, off the checklist. Other people are sending her stuff off the checklist. Yet, you know, the videos are going on and she's asking for the same items that I bought and several other people bought. And we're all writing in the comment section, wait a minute, you need another Dometic refrigerator? I bought one. Then somebody else wrote, I bought one. And then somebody else wrote, but I bought her one. And I was like, no, they didn't. They're just trolling, right? Who, you know, no way. No way she's got three or four Dometic refrigerators. No way, right? Because those things are expensive. There's no freaking way. All right. So people start emailing me with receipts. I'm like, ah, eh, there must have been a mix up or something. You know, eh, whatever. You know, I didn't think anything of it. You know, I didn't want to. My mind didn't want to go there. You know what I mean? Because I felt like this woman was really endearing and very honest. Like, I, I just felt like that. So I, you know, against my better judgment. So I'm, you know, continuing viewing and, you know, cheerleading her on. I even think I shouted her out on this channel a few times for everyone to go over there and subscribe, which is fine, you know, whatever. Um, I even sent her $500 um, PayPal. Um, yeah, so turns out everybody was buying her socks, like very expensive socks, like thermal socks, socks that are like $20 a, a pair. You know, very expensive um, blankets, this, that, and the other, boots, uh, like everything you can think of that somebody would need to be able to, success. somebody even bought several um, buddy heaters for her. So finally, after we all catch on, that, we're, that she's got numerous of these things, yet she's never showing that she got them and she's in, in fact still keeping the wish list up after we've already bought this stuff for her. All right. So finally, I guess because she started losing so many subscribers and, you know, people were running for the hills and being like, you know what, F this, I'm out. I don't, sh you're not going to take me for a ride anymore. You know, 
Um, what I always tell people is um, if you can't afford to give, then don't. And what I mean by that is will you hold on to this forever? Like, is it going, if you find out that somebody misused the resources that you gave them, is this going to ruin your life? Is this going to ruin your day? Are you going to just become a very bitter and angry person? If so, then that means you cannot afford to give. Of course, I gave these things freely. It was hers to do what she wanted. We all gave things freely. It was hers to do what she wanted. But um, we came to the realization that she was selling some of these items because she seemed to only unbox or seemed to only show items that were the boxes were damaged. So she would get the items shipped to her from Amazon or for wherever else. And she'd go, see, look, see the, the, the tag is, is bent. The tag on this is bent or the box is ripped or look at this, look at this packaging. What homeless person that supposedly on their last leg is bitching about packaging on free items that they received. That people spent their hard earned money getting to her. She never did any, you know, she never did any unboxings on anything other than the items that the boxes were damaged. So some of us were commenting, we were like, but this, I, I haven't, I haven't followed her channel since about the end of 2017 when I realized what was going on. I was like, ah, you know what? You're not getting my view. I don't even want to know. I don't want to see. I don't want anything. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to be involved. Like once, you know, once, once I get turned off by something, I'm turned off. I don't go back. Like I don't, I don't troll. I don't do things like that. For what? Ah, uh, so anyway, so, um, so once I realized that's what was going on and the rest of us realized it, this, that, and the other, and then the bashing of the churches. Okay. It's fine if somebody doesn't agree with a church. It's fine. That's your business. If you don't like the churches and you hate everybody that goes to church, that's your business, right? That, I mean, that has nothing to do with me. That has nothing to do with you. If that's your, if, if that's your view, that's your view, right? Okay. So she would constantly be bashing the churches in her area. She'd be like, yeah, I asked them to pay my, to, uh, to get me a place to live with all that money that the church is bringing in. They wouldn't even give me any money. They offered me a voucher for gas and they offered me two nights stay at a hotel. Keep in mind, for free. So none of this is coming out of her pocket. She's going to the church to beg. She's doing that, okay? The churches were like, well, we can find you a homeless shelter. You know, we will help you with a job fair so you can work because she refused to work. She claimed she was a personal trainer, but I, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not bitching because I'm, I'm a pretty big girl myself. You know, I'm overweight myself, but I mean, it's like Mama June saying that she's a personal trainer before Mama June lost the weight. That's like Honey Boo Boo saying, oh, I, I train people. Um, so none of us believe that, of course, but we, you know, we didn't want to, this was in the beginning, like in 2017. So we didn't, you know, I, I think a lot of us just let us let that roll off our back. Like, eh, okay, maybe, maybe she's lying about what she does for a living for protection reasons, right? Okay, so after I sent that $500 and everybody else was donating, guess what? Guess what she decided to do with that money? Which, again, you should not give unless you can give freely. I'm not, you know, I, I was, I will admit I was shocked. I was very shocked. Um, she decides to buy herself a drone and then claimed the drone was given as a gift. Then um, she started getting backlash for that because people were like, okay, so I thought you said that you were going to use this money, you know, to get a few hotel stays. So you're out of, out of the cold. So you buy a drone, a drone that costs thousands of dollars, but you're homeless. Okay. That's her business, right? That's, you know, once you give something, it, it doesn't belong to you anymore, right? So giving freely. So she decides to buy a drone. Then the very next day, she's talking about how she needs people to donate because she's got no money for food. Return the drone. I think that was the last comment I ever posted on there. That was in 2017. It could have been 2018. It could have been around 20, either, either 2017 or 2018. I could be wrong. The last thing I ever wrote was, can you sell the drone? 
and maybe put a down payment on an apartment, maybe pay a security deposit with the money that you spent on the drone. If you're in debt, why are you buying drones? If you're supposedly trying to get yourself out of debt, why are you buying a drone? From what I understand, she used the drone once. Maybe I could be wrong, but again, I stopped viewing after the drone incident, okay? But before the drone incident, which I did find strange, but again, I was pushing it down and pushing it down and pushing it down. You know, like trying not to be judgy. You know, you never know. You know, you know how people say, oh, um, they look too clean to be homeless or, oh, I don't believe, like, just because somebody's attractive or they're clean does not mean that somebody isn't struggling. So I tried not to be judgmental, even though there were bags and bags and bags of Whole Foods in her car. Who would buy bags and bags and bags of Whole Foods goods, groceries, if you're living in a tiny little SUV? Where would you put it? The Dometic, you know, refrigerator can't hold all of that. Okay, and why is it daily? You know, I don't even shop at Whole Foods because it's too expensive. Let alone a homeless person. You know, it's like, what the hell? You're claiming you have no money for food, yet you're buying bags and bags and videotaping lunches, you know, big smorgasbord at Whole Foods. And then she would be complaining because she wasn't getting good customer service at Whole Foods. She wanted them to roll off the red carpet for her. I'm a paying customer. I spend money in here. You know, it got so bad that, you know, she was half eating some of the food. So, okay, so it's like this. So like, let's say you go and you buy a sandwich from Subway, for example. You eat three quarters of the sandwich and say, you know what, I want my money back. This didn't taste right. Why didn't you return it after the first bite? So she was doing this so often at so many different Whole Foods locations that they literally put her photo up at the um, service counter, at the customer service counter, so that people would be aware of who she is. So she even posted a video about this. That her face is plastered there because she's a scammer. Well, I'm not saying she's a scammer, but I guess Whole Foods believes she's a scammer. Okay. All right. Whew. There, there's, oh, so back to the church. So she gets on there and she's complaining and complaining and complaining and having drama and all sorts of crazy stuff, talking smack about the church fine you don't like the church why do you go back there every day and beg them for things if they're so horrible don't go back there don't go back so every day or every other day it was a rant and rave about the church about how fucked up the church is how the church won't give her money oh oh also she wanted the church just to hand her thousands of dollars that's what she wanted she says i know what i need to do so just give me the money so i can do it well they're like ma'am we can't just simply pass out money we need to know what you're doing it with the money you know we can help you with this if you can prove your income prove that you have a source of income we will gladly help you out with the security deposit or the first month's rent it's your choice ma'am but you have to show us proof that you can, you know, maintain yourself. We're not just going to give you cash. We send over vouchers to whatever landlord you, Lord you have or apartment complex you have, this, that, or the other. That wasn't good enough for her. She said, oh, she'd throw a fit, curse them out, all sorts of stuff. Also, the woman was somehow able to obtain about four or five vehicles in a two-year span. That's a lot of vehicles to, and these are not, like she said, she only deals with the best. She, she will not drive an old car. She will not wear used clothes. She has to buy quality. She has to get her, her jackets from REI. She has to wear name brand everything. Um, everything's gotta be top of the line. Her words, not mine. Okay. So you have caviar taste on no budget, not even a beer budget, on no budget. So we were, at the time, back then, you know, we're all trying to like let it, I think all of us were a little bit like numb to it. You know, it's like, wait, you know, did I just hear that right? And then, you know, she would start looking down and claiming she has nothing and going to the sob story and everybody suggesting to her, well, you know, since you don't have children, since you have no children, you live in your car, you basically have no bills, but your car insurance and your car payment, 
That's the only bills that you have. And basically everybody who's donating is covering that. Also, you're able to obtain drones and all sorts of things. And if $400 jackets and this and that, but I, I can't wear the same jacket every day. I just can't. So I got to obtain four or five $400 jackets. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. So again, me and others, you know, cause we were chatting amongst ourselves in the comment section, like, oh, wow. Like, oh, okay. Then she starts talking about her storage unit. She's got all of these appliances, all these things in the store. Well, so we all suggested, Hey, how, I got an idea. How about you sell everything that's in that storage unit to get a down payment on an apartment, to get the security deposit, to get what you need so that you can get a warm place to stay since you are in freezing cold New Jersey. Oh, I can't afford living here. I've got to live in my car. Okay, fine. Well, why don't you go to a warmer climate since you can't stand the cold and since somehow all of the items we bought you on Amazon, the blankets. Okay, uh, so then after, you know, after months of everybody buying everything, she starts complaining she's got no sleeping bag, no Dometic freezer, and nothing else. Okay. Even though I bought, other people bought, plus gave money, plus, so anyway, but anyway, yeah. So then she claims she gave everything, okay, so finally she couldn't anymore, the charade had to stop. So then she started claiming that she gave a bunch of stuff away to a homeless mom and child who was parked next to her. We never met the homeless mom and child. You know, that's fine, but that's a lot of stuff to give away. Where were you housing all the other stuff anyway? There's no way she could have fit all of those items that we got her in one vehicle. There's no way she would have need, needed to get a storage unit, you know, on her own for all that stuff. You know, there's no, there's no way any, all of that stuff could have even fit. You know, all those jackets and that tiny little vehicle, just even the winter coats alone. Um, and then also another thing is, her vehicle was always spotless. If you live, bathe, go to the bathroom, dress, get ready for the day, eat in your vehicle, yet you got not one crumb, yet, okay, so she, put a, she would put a curtain up so that we couldn't see the back, but every so often the curtain would be open and there was not a damn thing on the back of that vehicle. Not a jacket, not a scarf, not a pillowcase. Oh, and I'm wrong. I'm sorry. I take that back. There were always large Whole Foods bags back there. <laughs> That's it. So there's about a million and one. Uh, oh, so back to the church. So so back to this last thing and then I'm going to turn it off. Okay. So um, then she starts talking about how the church ruined her life. So she had ke she kept mentioning this, you know, from day one, how the church ruined her life. But, you know, she never elaborated. Finally, one day, she admitted that she was sleeping with the pastor of the church. She said this on her channel. I didn't, I'm not spreading rumors. This is what she said out of her own mouth. I even, um, yeah, never mind. Uh, yeah, other people even recorded it. So she can't, like, lie and say, even if she took the video down, she can't, like, lie and say she never said that. So, um, so she was sleeping with the pastor of the church. And then I guess because the, the pastor would not leave his wife, she decided to announce it to everybody. So I guess the church members turned on her. She thought the church members would side with her and suggest that the pastor stay with her, leave the wife and stay with her. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, to each their own. Uh, but it's obvious the pastor wasn't only sleeping with her. He was obviously sleeping with several others. But anyway... So she felt like the church shunned her because they didn't, you know, cheer her on for sleeping with the pastor. You know, they were like, wow, that's, you know, some trifling stuff. That's some fucked up shit. Like, that's not cool. Okay, so this is for the trolls. So if I don't want to give her my money, why are you coming to my channel harassing me? I'm not giving her any more money. I'm not buying her anything else. I'm not going to. So you guys can stop coming over here to my channel. I haven't even watched her videos since maybe the first month of 2018, if not 2017. I stopped dealing with her then. So yeah. Oh, okay. So anyway, how the trolls got kicked up, I remember now. So another van dweller who I love and support. Um, 
I won't say his name because I don't want to. He he already got a backlash from this this uh this car dweller, the one I'm speaking of about all this stuff. She was coming on his channel, saying, "Hey, I need money. I need this. I need that." So finally, one day, I think he got a little annoyed because. He's like, I've told you how I can help you. I've suggested a million and one ways for you to make money and for you to sustain yourself. He goes, but it seems like all you do on your channel is beg, beg, beg. People give, 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 and there's nothing to show for it. You're still complaining even after people give. See, at least with the person, the man who called her out, at least on his channel, he's proactive. At least he's like, this is how I'm putting this together. Okay, in case you guys ever, you need to prepare a feast and you just don't have this or that resource, look, I've made a Thanksgiving dinner out of this. Or, you know what, I made a tent over here or I made this or that over there. He was proactive. He was getting things done. So, with the other one, all they did was complain about what they don't have and why they can't. Because everyone would ask, why won't you just get a job? Can you, you know, you have no children, you have no responsibilities. But the other guy, he's um, he's a, um, a vet. He's got to pay a lot of child support. He works a certain amount of hours. He's on disability. He's got other factors going on. But the one thing I can say about him is no matter what, he's optimistic. You know, he's been through some shit. Some stuff's gone on. I mean, I've seen it, you know, where he was shit out of luck. But thank God for his positivity because his positivity attracted assistance. It seemed like there was always an angel out there to help him. You know, after a while, people don't wanna help, like after somebody does a lot of nice things for someone and there's no appreciation there, what I, and when I say appreciation, I don't mean bowing down and kissing their feet, but it, but at least use the items, you know what I mean? Where did, where did all the items go that everyone bought? Like, I thought you said you were homeless and hungry. Why would you buy a drone? So anyway, so the, the guy I'm talking about, the positive guy, so he finally got fed up one day and made a video. I believe he took the video down after he posted it because she made a few ranting videos against him. So I think he just didn't want the, the beef, the drama. So he was basically saying, listen, I've already told you what you need to do to make money. You know, a lot of your viewers are poor themselves. A lot of your viewers are on disability themselves. They can't keep sending you money. If they sent you money once, that's a blessing. You can't just be relying on others. You're going to have to get a job. You're able-bodied. You seem to be somewhat intelligent. If you could put some of this begging energy into being proactive, then you could possibly be successful at this. You're not going to get views because she wasn't really getting any views because all of her videos were negative. If it's the same shit every day of... You know, I got into a conflict with this cashier and I got into a conflict with this one and you wouldn't believe it. I was staying at this person's house and then um, after a week, they asked me to stay. Uh, or they asked me to leave. After a week, they asked me to leave. I mean, you can't just live at somebody else's house for free, forever. There was a lot of entitlement stuff. Nobody's entitled to anybody's anything. I... You know, I have been homeless before. I have lived in a vehicle with a child. And I didn't ask anybody for anything. I went to work every day. Nobody even knew. I went to work every day. Brought my child to the babysitter. Got him ready for school. Brought him to school. All of those things. And nobody even know, knew. Nobody knew. I just worked and worked and worked until I could afford... until somebody was messaging me. I worked and worked and worked until I could afford to to make a payment, to, you know, to, uh, to get a place to live. It took me about three months, but I did it. It was not easy, it was not comfortable. I was basically living out of a storage unit. When I say living out of a storage unit, meaning like I would trade clothes. So like I would, you know, have, you know, a few pairs of pants, a few shirts, a few pairs of pants, a few shirts for my son, whatever, and then I would, you know, be able to trade it off. But the good news was I worked at night so he was able to sleep at the babysitters. So he wasn't like sleeping in the vehicle or anything. So pretty much after I got him from the babysitters, it was time to get ready for school. So there was never like an incident of him like, you know, just like living in a vehicle. Um, but the reason why I'm saying this is in case people, well, you don't know what it's like. You need to be compassionate. I do know what it's like. 
<laughs> I do know what it's like. So, yeah, I've had a lot of struggles. You know, my life has not always been easy. It has not always been how it is now. My life, I, I consider myself, my life calm now. But it hasn't always been like this. And for people who have ups and downs and for people that really need, it's just a sad thing to see somebody doing this because it, it does ruin some people's faith in others. Um, so anyway, so for the trolls, oh, back to the trolling situation. So when the, the positive van dweller was, you know, made a video about this woman, um, I commented, I said, yeah, I gave her $500. I donated $500 to her and, um, you know, I commented a few things. So I guess it got back to her and she started ranting about me, but she didn't say my name, of course. She started ranting about me and then um, now, just in the past few days, I've had some of her, her minions, people from her channel, coming over to my channel, bothering me. I'm not sure why. I think it was like six months ago that that positive van dweller posted that video and I commented and other people commented about her, you know, basically using resources that we gave her that were supposedly for food, clothing, and shelter to buy drones and to buy, oh, the, the expensive hair extensions, the $400, $500 hair extensions, and the this and the that. Oh, wow. Yeah. But anyway, that's, I don't want, that's it. I don't even know if this video will upload because it's so long. All right, guys, jamiesieber23.com. Ta-ta for now.